So the B cell has gone through a number of processes in the bone marrow to become an immature B cell. So it has a B cell receptor on its surface made from two heavy chain proteins, two light chain proteins, the Ig alpha and beta. But this B cell receptor, we don't know if it's good or not. And by good, I mean did that antigen binding site that become created by because of the VDJ gene rearrangement and the junctional diversity, is that antigen binding site going to harm us? So at this point, we need to ask, um, will these B cells react to our own molecules? Are these self-reactive B cells? Because if these antigen binding sites bind to self proteins, well, then those B cells are going to attack us and we don't want that to happen. So we have to test these B cell receptors for tolerance. We have to be tolerant of them. If they react to our molecules, we can't let these out into the world. So let's see how that's gonna happen. And um, about 75% of the cells that go through B cell development actually have some level of self reactivity, which means we have to fix them or we have to get rid of them because we don't want B cells to recognize self molecules. We want B cells to recognize um, in, uh, pathogens, non self molecules. All right, so we've got two B cells on the left. Um, the top one, it's got, it picked some VDJ from some heavy chain and some VJ from the light chain. So it has some antigen binding site. The one on the bottom, it picked a different VDJ, a different VJ, and it's got a different antigen binding site. So we're testing these shapes now to, for self reactivity. So we're still in the bone marrow. There are cells in the bone marrow called stromal cells, and they have lots of proteins on their surface, lots of molecules. So our proteins, our sugars, our lipids. And what occurs here is these B cell receptors are tested against molecules on the surface of our cells in the bone marrow, as well as molecules that are in the fluid. So the blood plasma or the extracellular fluid that would be present in the bone marrow, these immature B cells are tested against these self molecules. And by tested is, we mean do their antigen binding sites have affinity for our own molecules? If they do, we would call these self-reactive B cells. And this would be bad because that means this B cell might release antibodies that attack our cells. We don't want that to happen. So. If a B cell is self-reactive, meaning its antigen binding sites have some affinity for our own molecules, what can happen here? Well, one thing that can happen is something called receptor editing. So the cell at this point can go back and say, you know what? If this B cell receptor with its variable regions binds our molecules, let's go back and maybe use another light chain and pick a different V and a different J with a different junctional diversity. So we are editing the B cell receptor by going back and choosing a different light chain protein or a light chain gene. And remember, there were four of them. So maybe we go back and use one of the other ones and we edit the receptor again. So you can still have um, a somatic combination going on in the immature B cell if you need to edit the B cell receptor. So that can occur here. And again, this B cell receptor is going to be tested against our molecules. Will it interact? Will it have affinity? Well, it's possible it still has affinity, right? Maybe it was really in the heavy chain um, where you had a really strong binding to some self molecule. What are you going to do with this B cell? Well, you get rid of it, right? It triggers death via apoptosis. Um, and this is called clonal deletion. So in fact, this happens to about 75% of immature B cells that you generate in your bone marrow every day. About 75% of them have some affinity for your molecules, which means you have to either go back and try to edit the receptors and save them. And if you edit the receptors you still and you still have um, reactivity to self molecules, well, just throw these cells away. They die by apoptosis. And that happens. And that's okay, because it's better than releasing them into the, into the wild and recognizing and attacking our body. So that cell on the top, it recognized self. It was self-reactive. It's gone. Can't be saved. Cell on the bottom, its B cell receptor, it ignores us. It doesn't bind our proteins. It doesn't bind our lipids. It doesn't bind our sugars. So it would be tolerant. It would be self-tolerant. It gets to leave the bone marrow. So 
This tolerance we refer to as central tolerance. This B cell has shown itself to be tolerant of molecules found in the central lymphoid organ, the bone marrow. The bone marrow is a central lymphoid organ. So this B cell gets to leave the bone marrow. It's finally got permission to leave, but it's still not fully activated. So in the next video, we'll talk about uh, how the B cell gains peripheral tolerance and fully activates into a mature, naive B cell.